Jamila Jamil says she identifies as queer. In a statement she released via Twitter, she said, I kept it low because I was scared of the pain of being accused of performative bandwagon jumping over something that cost me a lot of confusion, fear, and turmoil when I was a kid. End of quote. She went on to say she will be jumping off Twitter for a while because she does not want to read mean comments dismissing her coming out. This is coming after backlash on her being casted for an upcoming HBO Max ballroom competition. Um, the ballroom culture came out of New York City as black and Latino gay men and trans women created support system for another called Houses. Responding to critics in her statement, um, she said, I know that my being queer does not qualify me as ballroom, but I have privilege and power and a large following to, bridge, um, to bring to the show, as does the absolutely iconic Megan Thee Stallion and its beautiful content Contestant and ballroom host. Okay, yeah, end of quote. Personally, for me, I think um, Jamila Jamil did not really understand where the backlash was coming from. Was coming from because she went out to say, okay, she's queer and um, she's a South Asian um, actress. That's not really the point. That's not really the bone of contention. What the bone of contention was... is that in Hollywood, there has been underrepresented underrepresentation of these um, um, LGBTQ um, characters. And when you look at the voguing culture, when you look at the ballroom culture, it just started gaining prominence. For them then, when it started, it was a safe space for them. When you look at RuPaul's Drag Race, that is an instance where you can say that, okay, they were beginning to gain acceptance a little bit. So you see that there's still kind of like discrimination against them. You see, okay, for, for example, there was an outrage when um, Scarlett Johansson was cast to play a transgender woman. They are like, why don't you just cast a transgender actress? So you see that even within the Hollywood space, as much as it seems like as you know, these people are well represented, there's still a form of discrimination. So Jamila Jamil being casted as a host or a judge. The, outla the outrage is not because, oh, she, you are not part of the LGBTQ community, mm. because she's coming out to say she's queer, too. It's, form, it's like a form of identity politics, so oh, I identify with you, so I should be a part of this show. But it's not really about being queer, it's about the fact that there are some people who have been there, there are some people who have been in this game for a very long time. Because there was a lady, that um, a transgender woman, that came out to say she also, you know, was interviewed to be a host for this, and she's surprised that it went to somebody yeah, who knows she was saying almost exactly why she's coming out now. She was saying that she has been part of the house culture for a long time. Mm -hmm. So that gives her the more understanding of what the LGBTQ society goes through. So I think that's why she felt it was now time for her to come out, which is why I feel like her coming out is a bit selfish. I mean, it's not like you really wanted to come out. You just feel like, because you're queer also, you, you, you actually fit the role. And then I saw something else from some of the... Um, people in the community, they were saying that um, the LGBTQ community needs to be more open and accepting. So what stops a straight person from being part of your show? I mean, you people also are part of shows that are for straight people, if you can put it that way. So why can't you accommodate straight people? So that she didn't really need to come out um, to explain herself to be part of it. Because if you're saying that you want to be accepted, then why can't you accept other people as well? So the conversation is quite broad, and I get where she's coming from, but I think this coming out and trying to tie it to being from mm -hmm. South Asia and that is not really accepted, and you're the only one in your family, that's just mm -hmm. so much. Especially when you're coming out just to respond to this to backlash. To this kind of backlash. I feel like that is not the right way to, you know, that's why I said it feels like identity politics, like, oh, because of I'm a queer person, yeah. there should not be backlash. And I'm saying that the backlash is not even yeah. necessarily because she's straight or because I've seen so many comments, I saw people, so many people commenting about this. And the fact that it was started by black and Latino people, they said that the whole culture started because of they wanted to create a safe space where culture could intersect, where different races, different people of different races, sexuality could intersect, and you know just put on a show because it's a competition of men and women dressing flamboyantly and you know putting. If you watch RuPaul's Drag Race, you understand what this show is going to be mm -hmm. about. So people felt like, okay, who is Jamila Jamil? She doesn't really know much about this culture. When you She's call them men and women, they might find it offensive because some of them don't uh, uh, um, identify, identify as, as But let's hear what Ikoi has to say, though. Yeah.
Well, I think she doesn't owe anybody any explanation because um, she didn't appoint herself to start with. And secondly, like you rightly said, um, I didn't even know there was a conversation around that already, that if this um, LGBT community people, sorry, that might sound derogatory, but... Uh, people. Hmm? I said they're people, so it's not derogatory. Don't worry, I know they me. They're sensitive. Yeah, they're very sensitive. This this LGBTQ members, right, really want to be accepted in the society. Why are you not going to be inclusive? Why won't you let other people be included into your community so that we can all live as one? Because if you're saying um, they have been, um, what, what, what did you use that for a while? They've been, they been underrepresented. They've been underrepresented. Mm -hmm. But we've seen a lot of movies that you see a straight person whose best friend is gay. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? And we don't have a problem with and it. And we see them create the character you, of a couple that is so unnecessary to the movie, but because, but because they have And to be we don't complain. Straight people don't come out to say, why put it, uh, this movie is all about love, it's all about um, to be, um, a guy and a girl in love, opposite sex. Why did you have to put a gay person? We don't come out to say stuff like that. So um, Jamila coming out now, I don't think it's selfish. I just think it is the world we live in where you really have to let people know exactly what's because she might lose a lot of gigs just from this so she came out to explain this so but left to me i don't think she should have even said anything because i think she kind of made it worse That's by saying. saying by saying all of these things by saying oh she can identify with it and and queer is not peculiar to what the ballroom yeah, whatever no, no, is it's about it's not peculiar to that they're talking about transgender women gay men and all, all of, of that them are together she accepted it's yeah. lgbtq but, yeah yeah, but she now doesn't have a peculiar, what do I put it, tag yeah, because, mm, to because it. She has even said it herself that she's queer, but she is more attracted to straight men. So it's more or less like she dates more of men. So the queerness is probably sometimes maybe she likes women or that kind of stuff. So it's not really, that's why I said that her coming out is not really important to the topic. Yeah. Mm. The topic is not, are yeah. you queer or but I think, not? I think the LGBTQ community needs to be less sensitive because if you're talking about you being accepted in the community, then you also need to accept people. I don't think you people. can say that they should be less sensitive because for some of them, it's their lives that are involved. There are still transgender know, people that are being murdered. There are still gay people that are imprisoned in this but, country. But you know so you know what? cannot just say that they're you know what? At every opportunity, maybe life. it would reduce if at every opportunity you, you're welcoming. But when they see you like, okay, we're set. No. Do you understand? We push is people it, away. Is it the gay people that should be welcoming or the other people that should be more welcoming? I think in the because world there are more people who are more antagonistic are, towards them. Yeah, of course. But I think presently, I think a lot where of she's people. Coming from is when, um, um, let's say, black people come out to say black lives matter mm -hmm. and they can be very and sensitive, sensitive about, about it. about like, race okay, can you come down? The same way when women come out to talk about gender equality. Yeah. And yeah. sometimes like, oh, when a white person says know, black lives matter, long, they tell you shut up, you, know, you don't know so anything yeah, about yeah, black lives. So, so I, I get it, but I think I think the world just needs to reduce the sensitivity. It's not just gay people, it's not just black people. It's not just, I think everybody just needs to be. Yeah, we're all sensitive.